This is Olga Kirschenbaum with nine minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creatives share their wisdom. It is six questions in nine minutes because creatives have a short attention span. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. My name is Jen Abels, and I'm a creative entrepreneur. I lead workshops and seminars and online classes to help people with their own personal growth and transformation. And I do it all through a filter of joy and fun because I think we learn better when we're in a happy place. I can definitely agree with that. Every time I lead anything with fun, it blossoms into something I couldn't even imagine before. Absolutely, absolutely. What is your favorite part about being a creative leader? the what's what I what everyone refers to as the ripple effect because I receive so much joy back from seeing people's either growth or just even sharing a joke or a smile just that growth but then also I know that it's reaching other places beyond what I could even imagine you know in in my years of doing things like this having somebody come back like three, four years later and send me a message of my wife and I, I used to teach dance. Um, My wife and I were dancing in the kitchen and thought of you. And I was like, I haven't heard from these people in like five years. So it's just, I know I'm very aware that I have no idea how far reaching it can go. And that's, that fills me with so much joy. Beautiful. I speak to a lot of creatives who will avoid the money side of their businesses. They'll pretty much do anything to avoid it. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, Yes, (laughs) 1000%. And I know now where it comes from. I mean, I think that I was aware of it growing up and it, that's why I avoided living a, the creative kind of lifestyle. I have a degree in insurance. And when I think about, you know, what was my motivation behind that is because everyone always talks about a starving artist, starving artist, starving artist. So, I mean, I don't even remember the first time I heard it. I just feel like that's, that's a truth because it's always out there. So if that's what the path means, why would I, how am I going to build up the courage to go down that route? I'm going to go a safer route and then I'll just have fun hobbies on the side. And even like you can see, even as I say that, I make myself smaller when I say it. The the safe route, the business route, which is fine for some people. It just wasn't for me. So being able to leave that behind, um, the financial piece of it, you have to embrace the idea that when you're in that flow, that creative flow, and you're doing good to the world, that the money will flow back to you. Beautiful. Who are the creatives that you admire or have inspired you on your journey? I'm so fortunate to come from a family of creative people. The first person that comes to mind when you say that is honestly my mom. She's a piano teacher, but also growing up, she would um, she'd teach piano. She would teach dance. She did arts and crafts. She was so she just is creative. Even in the kitchen, I'd be like, there is absolutely nothing here. And then in an hour, she's got the most gourmet meal I've ever tasted. I'm like, how, how long did she do that? She just, she sees possibility all the time and is just so creative. She can pick up something and go, oh, I bet I could turn this into this. I'm like, how, where, how do you, what? She's so inspiring to me that way. There's, she is boundless creativity, but also my, I have an aunt on the same side of the family, my mom's younger sister, who's a visual artist, but also has expanded herself into other different areas. She's hosted a radio program. She's, um, she's starting her, her own um, YouTube channel. Just always being creative people. I'm, sur- I'm really fortunate to be surrounded by that kind of creativity. Beautiful. What is the one piece of wisdom or advice that other creatives should know? Do you. Do the thing that makes you light up. We can get really bogged down and feeling like we have to do everything. And I don't believe we're meant to do everything. Do the thing that inspires you and the part that kind of brings you down, collaborate with somebody, hire somebody to help you with that part. That, you know, I, 
you know, we talk about the, the financial piece just a few minutes ago. If that's not my strength, don't spend my time trying to become an accountant on the side because, well, if I'm going to run my own business, I also have to do that. No, do what you're good at. Make that money so that you can hire somebody who's passionate about the things that you're not passionate about. You don't have to go it alone. Beautiful. Now, the most important question of the podcast Kakaya Vasha Lubima Musica, or in English, what's your favorite music? Broadway. Broadway, it's a broad category. If any of my friends are listening, they were going to say, what? She didn't say John Legend, because I do have a serious <laughs> obsession with John Legend. But it, what I listen to most consistently is Broadway, because it's the whole span. The music can make me laugh, can make me cry, can make me want to dance, fills me with joy, fills me with inspiration, and it always paints a picture for me. So all of my senses are engaged. I love that. Do you have a favorite musical or a couple? A, cu a couple. <laughs> Hamilton. <clears throat> Hamilton for sure. Uh, Wicked. The music from Wicked just, whoo, whoo. Hamilton and Wicked are, are, my, are my one and two. Awesome. West Side Story. Mm -hmm. That's Story. a good one. <sighs> my, yeah. The longer we stay on, the more I'll be like, oh, also this one. Also this one. <laughs> love I'll it. leave it at those are my top three. Thank you, Jen, for being That's on. Right. Yeah, of course. What's the best way for the listeners to connect with you? Real easy. My website is jenables.com, J E N A B L E S.com. Perfect. And I'll include that in the show notes. Great. This is Olga Kirschenbaum with Nine Minutes of Creative Wisdom Podcast, where creatives share their wisdom. Make sure you check out my blog at ragsrichesconsulting.com to get many insights you haven't heard before.